Yo, Vesanti here. So this is going to be like a build video kind of showcase. Uh, I'll show more about it later. But um, the main generator I'll be using is wind shear because it's very quick. There is earth spike, which is like um, if you get that fixed, you can make it like going away, but you get a cooldown. But this is like instant and generates uh, easily. But yeah, this is for range. So you can actually pretty much stand back um, and then just shoot this and it just generates stuff. Uh, pulverize your main thing get um the stun to pulverize and i also got one to landslide just to get this because this build builds around being an earth with trample being earth and pulverize being earth and then you're just using the generator to just support same thing with uh i have one to poison creeper it has like three contributions um and then these are just to help support with crit um, I'm using Urchin Bullrock as my defense, also as support just for fortification. And Trample I maxed out, obviously. This is the, the sec secondary damage dealer with uh, Fortify as well. So everything's going to give you fortification. And with fortification, you get um, damage reduction and buffs too while I'm being fortified. So I have no ultimates. Um, I went for these passives because your earth your pulverize and your trample is going to be earth and so and when the earth they're also nature so we i put one into this one into this just mostly the damage stuff at the end all right so also heal when you use it so that's good there's some survivability here um the main gist is doing using quick shift quick shift when you transform you get extra damage so i keep um Switching back and forth between human and werebear. And every time you do that, you get increased damage. <laughs> and as well, give me fortification. So I, every time I switch, I also fortify. So I technically don't need to use Urban Bullrub or Trample to actually get fortified, but it helps. And this, I just have one damage reduction. And for the capstone, obviously, when you're werebear, you can do more damage. And leaving, you get three seconds of additional uh, HP. Okay. And then you want to be healthy all the time, anyways. Right. So damage and HP. Um, I just have these here for some fortification, just for some support, just to get some fortification and um, CC. Um, this is the main one here that you want as well. You want to fortify your earth skills, deal 12% more damage. Um, you could also level this up, but I just have one each just for extra, right? So every, critical skills, critical strike with earth skills fortify you, so more fortification. <laughs> And I also have this passive right here. This is the main one. Increased damage. 15%, but it costs 9% more. You can generate a lot of spirit anyways by using this. And you can kite. It make, this, this build makes it easy for you to just kite. You just kite and just go. Alright. Um, I'm only level 69, right? So this is my current status at the moment. I stopped myself, so I can leave at 69 just for like this video. Um, so let's look at my equipment right now. The important one is the shockwave, obviously, but obviously it's also hard to get because it's drop only. So for the time being, you can also try using this one because you'd be switching from storm and earth because your thing will be earth. Um, based on this equipment, right? This is the most important one. You can get this from a dungeon. Um, the dungeon is all the way in the bottom of the bottom right here. Oh, bottom right here. This dungeon, that will give you... Yeah, so if you can get here as soon as you can, um, if you need a carry, let me know. Get that, so it's part of the codex, so you can instantly just get the, the earth skill. So this is the main thing you want to use, get. And then um, if you can also get the trample, earth landslide. This is, I got, I got so many of these compared to the shockwave. Um, this will change your trample to do landslide, so that's why I have a point into landslide. But it also makes it earth skill. So that's how you um, change those earth. And then with those, it will increase based on your, your passives. And also, I have this thing. When you fortify, you get two extra ranks. So that's even better. Okay. Um, I actually picked this up. It's still sacred. But Werebear is not a true form. It doesn't really matter what your true form is. Um, I'm doing this for the plus two ranks. That... I'm just dumping everything into Pulverize and Trample. Uh, and this this is nice to have. Uh, Shape-shifting skill. I do have some things I want to change around here. Um, but uh, for now, this is my current build.
So every time I shape shift, I get HP. So that's more survivability. And then Earth skills slow them. And that's why that one passive, when you do slow, immobilize, whatever, you get extra damage. And you have Poison Creeper, which also immobilizes. So it kind of synerg synergizes with it. But I don't want to make that the main focus. Because um, I do want to change this out, like put this here. And I do want to get the Shaco up here. Just plus four ranks. And for this, I have this is a good barrier skill. You should always try to get this. It is in the codex though. Um, I forgot which dungeon is. It, sh it should be in the Fracture Peaks. It's like bottom left corner of Fracture Peaks. And then I got this unique skill, a ring. I don't use Werewolf, but I like the other stuff that gives to it, and like give the quick shift, quick shift passive and stuff like that. So that's good. So I aim for like shift shift damage, wear bear damage. Quick shift passive stuff like that, and then when I try to get much rank, I do pulverize, landslide, and poison creeper. So that's my gear right now, sixty nine, and my paragon board currently. I have into the this is how it looks like. I have a glyph into werebear, which gives um, thirty seven percent damage in werebear form and ten percent in werebear form. It depends on how many willpower nodes I have. So I got most of them here already. Um, if I upgrade this, I can get this one extra as well. That will be great. And like these two. Um, they're, I need to work on Nightmare Dungeons. So I can't wait to play more. And then on the second board, I have Survival Instance for Werebear. So um, I'm using this Glyph Undaunted. So when I'm fortified, I get more damage. And again, this is about fortification. That one, that's being Werebear. And get overpowered damage here, um, damage reduction, more damage, just a lot more armor. So that's my current build setup right now. Hopefully you enjoy this quick video. Enjoy all the other clips uh, incoming of my run while being level 69. <laughs>